Greg. Thanks, Brenda. We have waited a week for this. Finally, the first race for Lisa Franks. And I am joined again by Dave Gregg, now the coach of a Paralympic medalist after Jessica Matassa had the bronze medal in the 800 this week. Thanks, Rob. In my opinion, this race is Lisa Franks, this lady right here, versus the world record. She qualified 10 seconds ahead of the next fastest competitor. Lisa Franks, one of two Canadians in this field. Terry Torson there in lane seven of Victoria, BC. She set a personal best in the semifinal. She'll look to do the same here. Lisa Franks is in lane three. The only athlete with a personal best, even in her area code, is Miki Yoda of Japan. She is in lane four, but already Lisa Franks with a big lead in the T52 400 meters. This classification of athletes is distinct from, say, Chantal Petitclair's classification because of the nature and the height of the injury on the spinal cord. We're 150 meters in, and the power that Lisa Franks is showing in this 400 meters, she has a big lead already. Look at how she strikes the rim compared to her competitors. She's showing the confidence of world champion and is obviously the class in this field. 150 meters to go, Lisa Franks with about a 50 meter lead. Lisa Franks coming close now to the 100 meter marker. The question now is can she break the world record? It's 1, 11, 33. She set the Paralympic record yesterday. She continues to power her way home. Just 30 meters to go now. She's looking for 1, 11, 33. Will she do it? Yes! 1, 0, 9, 53 for Lisa Franks. A world record. And she'll take a gold medal home to Moose Jaw when she leaves in a few days. What you're seeing there is the strength and the confidence of a seven-time world record holder. 22-year-old from Saskatchewan, all kinds of power to spare, but she doesn't let up in the home stretch. She wants the world record, and she gets it. Frank's gold, Sosa Silver, Torres of Mexico takes home another bronze. Terry Torson rounds out the field. 